I don't think I've heard a better explanation. This video is brought to you by Officer Privacy. Officer Privacy, a lot of you guys have gone out and signed up with Officer Privacy to get your stuff removed uh, from the internet. The basic way that Officer Privacy works is that people are online all day long selling and buying your information, and they put it on these sites that if you go and click on them and, and, and type in somebody's name, whatever you know, whatever information you know about them, it will typically pull up a lot of generic things that are very similar to the identity of the person. And if you know more than you don't know, you can find out who this person is online. So all of these major in, uh, uh, internet sites have your information on it whether you believe it or not. And Office of Privacy will remove your stuff from the internet. If you want them to remove it and monitor it, they will. If you want to only pay for the service um, to use their uh, technology to remove it and you monitor it yourself, you have that option. The reason why I'm even promoting them is because the owner uh, proved to me that my stuff was all over the internet and I needed them to take my stuff off, given the fact that I'm a public figure. So first responders, for sure need to get it taken off. And if you have a job that's dynamic and you don't want your stuff online, just go on, subscribe. There's a money back guarantee. Um, there, obviously it's not gonna be perfect. People may still pop your stuff up, but they will monitor and continue to take it off every time it pops up. So give them a check, you know, check them out, officerprivacy.com forward slash Tatum. Uh, the links are in the description section. Let's get into this, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies. That's a long commercial, but I'm like, man, it's necessary, bro. I'm telling you, in this day and age, people doxing you and all that kind of stuff uh, you, is necessary. The, the, the coldest explanation that I've ever heard on Tucker, and, and I don't even know who this guy is. I've never seen him a day in my life, but I absolutely love when I see black men. And, and I'm biased. I'm not going to lie. I'm biased. I love when I see black intelligent men because I just feel like there's so many people out here that are, not representing well and it gives a perception that black men are all a lot of them are ignorant and so when you see an intelligent black man that is that is smart and balanced and nuanced i like watching them go on to these shows and represent well so this brother here gave probably one of the most thorough even had tucker in shock explanations of the the the, the the feminism and how it's destroying women and women are really really woken themselves out of relevance. Uh, wrote a film. T Tucker, that's that's a big deal for civilization. And I think um, in the video you played, when you hear the president use the term "made in the image of God," right? He's he's referencing biblical language about the Imago Dei, but what he's doing is corrupting it because God made yeah. male and female. And whether you believe in Genesis or genetics, that is what everyone has believed basically up until seven years ago. Um, the biggest problem with this, or one of the big problems with this, is that this entire movement has been aided and abetted, um, I'd say, primarily by two groups. One, some of the most powerful women in media, journalism, politics, business, um, whether they work at you know, CNN or MSNBC or New York Times, who have spent an entire career talking about how hard it's been as a woman to achieve equality. And then they've allowed themselves to be cowed into uh, silence by a small group of men who are experiencing serious mental health challenges um, and a large group of craven activists. So yes. for women like Joy Reid or, or um, you know, Rachel Maddow or Jamel Hill, so again, whether they work at ESPN or MSNBC, um, they finally found a group of men that they're willing to submit to because <laughs> when Rachel Levine speaks and when Leah Thomas speaks, these women feel that they have to be silent. So in effect, they are about to diversity, inclusion, and equity themselves right out, out of existence. God dang. I can can you say it better than that? Like it, 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 I'm gonna play the rest of it, but you know y'all know I gotta cut it up or they're gonna copyright me. But I, I you know, can can you believe that we're living in a time like this? This is crazy to me, man. The, these people are walking themselves out of relevance to, to these men who are like like people say the the the, the patriarchy. Bro, this is another form of patriarchy. You got men dominating women's sports because these men feel a certain way. It ain't got nothing to do with how the women feel. These men are having a struggle in their mind and they want to be women today and then they dominate sports. That is, that is so deep and so true. I wonder, and so nicely put, thank you for that. Do you think they realize it? I think they know it because one of the things that you'll see, right, you, you may have uh, you know, like Congressman Cory Bush talk about birthing persons 
right? right? But then when they start to talk about abortion, they'll tell men to shut up because this is a, a woman's issue. So every mm -hmm. once in a while, an issue will come up that'll knock them right back into reality. But really what they're doing, they're, they're robbing young girls of opportunities in, in sports, um, in, in culture, and in politics, and they are completely undermining the message that they've been giving for the last six decades. They've been telling girls, speak up for yourself, um, don't be afraid. And in many uh, respects, Tucker, they've gone from I am woman, hear me roar, to singing, this is a man's world. <laughs> it's almost like they don't really know what they want. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> this is a man's world. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to lie. That's what it seems like to me at times. It's like, come on, man. Like, women got to stand up. You know, you've done all that fighting to have equality and rights and, and have a, a seat at the table. And, and just imagine, just think about this for a minute. You fought to have a seat at the table, and now a man is going to take your seat at the table posing as a woman. Because he's not a woman. He just feel like a woman, so he identifies himself as a woman. You're going to lose, lose your seat at the table that you've been fighting for, for a man that want to be a woman. That, that, the patriarchy is, is, is brilliant. Now the relevance of women in the next 50 years, at this rate, is going to be irrelevant. Because not only are these men going to be or portray themselves as women, they're going to dominate sports and get accolades as a woman. And then when they go back in history, they're never going to tell you that that was a man. They're going to tell you that that was a woman from birth. And now you don't know what's a woman and what's not. That's like a dude taking steroids and playing baseball. Before they was testing them, he, he, he got steroids. You don't know who was on steroids or who not. How you going to count these numbers? When another person was cheating and, and y'all try to make it a wash. I'm telling y'all women, y'all better stand up for this. It's going to be too late. You're going to have men being anchors on television as women. They're already in Victoria's Secrets. Y'all going to become irrelevant because there's enough wokeness around that men can actually dominate only po only uh, positions of power. They don't have to dominate the, 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 the media stuff. They don't have to dominate being a school teacher. And when I say that, it's because there's a lot of people who are school teachers. They can beat the principal because the wokeness will say you're unfairly judging this person because um, they're trans. So you need to put them in a position of wokeness and, and affirmative action. And now they become the heads of everything. It's easy to jump into women's sports. Now you're the head of the women's sports. And they wouldn't jump in it if they wouldn't be number one. And now, you know, uh, uh, these positions anchor on the, 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 the primetime slot needs to go to a minority or a transgender. And there they go. They got a primetime spot. All the other people that work at the news station, it, it, they're not going to get the same accolades. They don't know who they are, but they'll know who the person is up here. And, th and they'll, they'll be the face of women will be men who have, an, have a mental illness. And y'all talking about the patriarchy. Come on, man. Anyway, I love you guys. Uh, make sure you get stuff off the internet so you can be safe. Uh, I'll tell you what, challenge them. Try to search me up on the internet and see if you can find my stuff. Um, I'm going to dis disregard my phone number because I put my phone number associated with my business. But if you find it on one of these websites, you need to let me know. And I'm going to let them know. And if they can't fix it, then I'm going to let you know. And then I ain't going to be supporting them. But for the most part, I check my stuff often. And it seems like they've been doing a, a tremendous job. Love you guys. See you on the next one. I'm out.